Hello and welcome back to Casual Gastronomy, where today we are going to try and make our first Filipino dish on the show, and it is a dish called Kwek Kwek, and we'll be making it with a sauce called Tukwet Baboy, and I'm probably mispronouncing those names. Basically what it is, is a hard-boiled quail egg covered in this bright orange batter and fried until crispy and delicious. And it's paired with Tokwet Baboy, which is a vinegar sauce that is infused with onions, garlic, and thinly sliced chilies, and it is super delicious. We're inspired to make this because last week when we were at Jungbu, we saw quail eggs and thought they would be perfect to grab. But before we get started, please make sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And with that, let's go try and make some quick quick. Begin by bringing about one cup of rice vinegar or coconut vinegar if you can find it, up to a simmer. Then add in one teaspoon of honey and stir it in until it's well dissolved. Then transfer your vinegar to a large jar and add in two tablespoons of soy sauce three thinly sliced cloves of garlic, a quarter of a finely chopped onion, a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated black pepper, five thinly sliced Thai chilies, and one thinly sliced green onion. Then pop the lid on, give it a shake, and set it aside to marinade. That's all there is to it. For a quick quick, we'll begin by bringing a large pot of water up to a boil. Then we'll gently place in about 18 quail eggs and let them cook completely for about 5 minutes. Then transfer the eggs to a bowl of ice water to cool them. Next, shell your quail eggs and set them aside while you prepare your batter. For the batter, simply combine 1 cup of flour with 4 tablespoons of cornstarch, 1 half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of freshly grated black pepper, and one tablespoon of annatto powder. Annatto is a little hard to come by, but you can substitute it with turmeric. Just make sure that you cut the amount by about half because the flavor of turmeric is much stronger than annatto. Then, mix the dry ingredients until they're well combined. Finally, add in 3 fourths of a cup of water and mix it until it's thoroughly combined. Ours was a little too thick, so we added in about a quarter cup of water. Now, add your eggs into a container that has a lid, add in about three tablespoons of cornstarch, and give it a shake to evenly coat the eggs in the cornstarch. Then, bring a skillet or wok up to medium-high heat with about an inch of oil in it. We went with avocado oil for this. Next, dip your eggs in the batter and transfer them into the hot oil with a spoon. Let them cook for one to two minutes on the first side, then flip them over and cook them for another minute. Go through this process with all of your eggs and that's it, your Quek Quek is ready to serve. Hello. And welcome back to Casual Gastronomy. Again, you never left. You're still here with us. And we're here with the Quek Quek. <laughs> Wave high with your Quek Quek. <laughs> so, it was quick. It was. It was quick, quick. Quick, quick, you could say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it was very easy to make. Mm -hmm. Quail eggs, thankfully, were very easy to peel. Yeah. I was afraid because I never have good luck with peeling hard-boiled eggs. They mm -hmm. always shred. Mm -hmm. These were easy, easy to fry. The only thing I'll say is, I mean, they're orange, but not as orange as I think they're supposed to be. Yeah, I think I'm, they could have been a little bit more. I don't know why our like annatto powder was like red. It wasn't, it didn't really yeah. make it orange. Well, they look good. They smell good. Why don't we just give them a try? I'm just gonna eat it off the skewer what like an animal. Sauce? I wanna try without the sauce first. Okay. I'm a little worried about the sauce. Cheers. Take your egg. 
I'm putting this over here. What do you think of that? It's good. I like how it's super crunchy. Yeah, it's crispy, it's tender, and not doughy. Yeah. Because we used a lot of cornstarch in the batter. Yeah, yeah it's really light. Mm hmm. And uh, quail eggs, they just taste like small chicken eggs. <laughs> they do. <laughs> All right, let's try the sauce. I'm only doing a little bit because it is very spicy. <laughs> right, here we go. Cheers. Okay, with the quack quack. That is spicy. Not so bad, still very spicy. I got the tiniest little dip <laughs> and it's not burning my mouth up because I didn't dip the whole egg in it, but I can tell it's spicy. So when you do it, you could do a few fewer, a few fewer <laughs> Thai chilies yeah. if you don't want it to be so spicy. I think that's what I would do next time. Yeah, I think so. But it's still a nice aromatic vinegary dipping sauce. Yeah, it tastes nice with the egg. I Definitely. gotta say. I have no idea what quick quick is supposed to taste like. Yeah, me neither. So, <laughs> this is good. I cannot tell you whether it's authentic or not. No. But <laughs> it is a fried quail egg and it's not too hard to make, so why not give it a try? I feel like this would be a good brunch food. Yeah, I think so. Like brunch, fried crispy stuff, mm -hmm. eggs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know if this is like um, unorthodox, but maybe you could even put like some kind of cheese on there, like after they're fried and on the skewer, yeah. put some cheese and then bake it with the well, cheese on it. Melted cheese, yeah. Or get your little blowtorch out and melt some mozzarella <laughs> on there. Because everyone has a blowtorch. <laughs> everyone has a blowtorch. Yeah. Basic fact of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, guys, that's quick, quick. It was a quick and easy one. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, forgive me. Um, Hopefully that was not what caused you to hit the unsubscribe button. Um, if you're still with us, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of The Casual Gastronomy.